Governor, the dividend from RBI, 2 lakh crore, is it in sync with Reserve Bank of India's balance sheet which is getting expanded, Governor? You see, the balance sheet size obviously is growing by about 10% or so annually. But this year, you look at the, you know, the annual accounts. They have been already published. It's there in our annual report. The annual statement of accounts have already been published. And it's uh, mainly the, you know, our incomes from uh, foreign assets have gone up. Significantly, the income from foreign assets have gone up. That is mainly determined by the, decided by the fact that all the advanced countries or all the countries where we have deployed our forex reserves by investing in their securities and government securities and uh, treasury bills, the interest rates have gone up uh, there. So naturally, in all our investments we are getting, we, you know, we rotate our investments also quite uh, frequently. So naturally, we are, uh, the income from foreign assets have gone up uh, significantly, and it is determined, it is, it's, it's just an arithmetical number that we have to arrive at following the principles laid down by the, you know, the Committee on Economic Capital Framework, the committee, the Bimal Jalan Committee. According to that recommendation, it is uh, mainly out of, uh, I would say, the foreign assets income. Governor, uh, Reserve Bank of India's primary uh, goal is to maintain financial stability. But I'd like to draw your attention to the financial markets. The financial market market cap right now is at five trillion. The real economy is at four trillion, which means the financial economy is now higher than the real economy. Uh, what do you make of this big expansion in the financial economy as a regulator? We want to hear your thoughts. No, you know, you cannot sort of draw a conclusion uh, from these numbers, from the headline numbers of nominal GDP and the financial market. You cannot draw a conclusion. Uh, there are much more to it. There are much more nuances to it. But uh, all the parameters and indicators of our economic, uh, uh, you know, of our uh, Indian economy and our financial sector, they at the moment look uh, very stable. What you are perhaps uh, implying is that the question that is some part of the market or some segment of the market, is it getting overheated? So that, that is, I think, yes, to yes. put it uh, you yes. know, plainly, I think that is the question which you are asking. I think uh, SEBI is uh, engaged with that. So let me not uh, you know, intrude into SEBI's territory and start talking about the stock markets. I think SEBI is fully seized of what's happening in the... Uh, in the markets, and uh, we have our uh, regular interactions with the SEBI as a part of the financial stability, uh, uh, financial stability and uh, development FSDC, the Financial Stability and Development Council. We have also a subcommittee which is chaired by the governor. The chairperson SEBI is a member of that. Under the edges of that, we have an early warning group which meets from time to time and discuss all, uh, all uh, you know, everything that's happening in the financial markets. And if there is anything which is of discomfort, the early warning group addresses that and brings it to the our notice. So far as we are concerned, that is how we deal with it. At the moment, so far as stock markets are concerned, let me leave it to SEBI to talk about it. Other signs, wherever we feel we have our views on, you know, on the markets, which may not necessarily fall in our domain, we share our thoughts with the SEBI.